Mr. President. Coffee table. The funny thing is, I didn't even have to ask him to do it. He did it on his own. I especially like where he says, Catherine Durant is functional, Claire Underwood is formidable. So you see, you don't even have time on your side. It's on ours. By tomorrow morning, there'll be a dozen articles just like that. So you have a choice. You can redeem yourself as Secretary of State over the next four years, or go down in history as a fluke who bungled the Middle East and couldn't even close the deal in Brandenburg. You have your version, I have mine. I'm sure mine will get just as much traction as this. But my version wins because it's the better story. And it's also exactly how things went down. You see, you don't even have the truth going for you. I'm not scared of you. My endorsement of Dunbar, that makes for an even better story. But you want to know what the best story is? Claire's mother just died. I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, I don't think you really are. But that doesn't matter because the rest of the world will. And by the time she gives her speech tomorrow night, there won't be a dry eye in Atlanta or across the rest of the country. So, you get to keep your job, Kathy, in return for your delegates. That offer is still on the table. I have been loyal. I got you that table. Do you want to keep it? Or do you want to give it to Conway? You know, when I was waiting for my transplant, I had the most vivid hallucinations. You wouldn't believe it. Do you know who I saw? Peter Russo and Zoe Barnes, right here in this room. Zoe was trying to seduce me right here on this couch, and Peter, he shoved my face up against this glass. Cigarettes, razor blades, and sex. He was terrifying. All I wanted to do was get out of this room that I worked so hard to get in. But of course it makes sense that they would have haunted me because it's all true. What is? Everything Lucas Goodwin claimed. I killed them both just like he said I did. But of course nobody believes it and nobody ever will because that's how good we are at making things disappear. <laughs> no, we didn't kill anybody. <laughs> but we would have if it was necessary. So you're right. The time for negotiations is over. You will hand over your delegates, and you will serve on in my cabinet. And we will forget that any of this ever happened. Because if you don't, I swear to God, I will never, ever forget. Do you understand now? Yes. Good. Now let's go decide what we're going to do about these terrorists. 